Hey, you wanna go fishing? Yeah. It's a good thing you're in the back of the truck. You're going where we go. Let's go fishing. So it looked pretty solid. I've got it. Um, I got it on the Bass Pro Shops rod that we got at, uh, at Christmas time, also, which was a twenty-dollar rod. And uh, we'll see how it compares to some of these guys that are in the, you know, I guess falling between that twenty-five and thirty-five dollar range. So anyway, me and the boys are headed to our secret testing facility to see what happens. See you there. Fellows are already out here doing their thing. I'm getting set up. This is the PCFIN Viper 2. Okay, hoping you can see that all right. And also there's a lawnmower going behind me, so just have to bear with that. I've got it on a Tango rod, which is made by Field and Stream, that you can get for Dick's Sporty Goods for $29.99. It's an ultralight setup. I got some eight pound trialene on here, which is my favorite really go-to. And we're gonna give some casting here and see. I got a little swim bait. Uh, this is actually a uh, Berkeley swim bait with a small crappie jig on there. And this is gonna be the first official cast of this reel. Well, so far I gotta say, uh, just casting and reeling. Again, I. The PC fins, really. Ah, I missed him. PC fin reels, I'm really impressed with the, how smooth they really cast and how smooth they reel. Really the reeling part is what impresses me the most. Now this rod is a field and stream rod. I've never bought anything from field and stream. It's called a Tango. Got a little bit of a tan, digi camo thing going on. Okay. Eventually, I knew I was gonna catch him. Now he's double size of a good sardine. He barely got that hook in his mouth. Now he's got it in his tail. Get on out of here. Anyway, see he's a little fella, but hiding in this cove up here. Let's go take a look at Evan's fish. God, these are... Get him on up here. 
up here. Eve, let's see what you got. Hold on now, hold on. You need to keep your pole up here. Like hmm. How did he hook himself? Yeah. Oh, just through the top. Your fish, your fish, sir. Oh, your fish almost got off, sir. Yeah, I'm trying to. Get yeah, it good job. And that was on the the little chartreuse gold flake with the crappie jig. Good job, Bob. Good, little dude. good fish. Yeah, drop him on back in there. Catch another one. See if I care. But I caught the first fish, so now I have to buy lunch. I'm really liking the distance I'm getting off the piece of in here. And it doesn't have a really large bait of any kind. A little crappy jig. And that uh, that is a one and three quarters inch swim bait by Berkeley. Reel him in, Jim. Come in. <laughs> Hold on a second, your drag is. All right, bring him up here. He did the same thing Evan did. Yep. Well, kind of. His was in a little bit deeper. Hmm. Nice little fish. Probably falls Making into the a... ten and a half to yeah, I'd say ten and a half inch range. Eleven, probably, somewhere in there. Finn. He's waving. He's saying, "Hey, hey." All right. Well, so far now we're one apiece. Ah, oh, man, all the way on the other side. Am I recording? <laughs> I hope I am. Yeah, I hope I am. Are we thing. recording? I think so. Okay, as long as you think so. Oh, you're gonna wiggle while I'm holding you. Anyway, that was a good little fight for the piece of fin. It did a good job. Set that right here. You toss that. Got a nice little scar here. He's been hit by something. See ya. This is the Ozark Trail. Let's. It's a five bearing reel. Ozark Trail equipment. This is in a 2000 size, is what they consider it. Five one to one gear ratio. I know this thing had a yeah SP five B one I. That's a whole lot of letters and numbers, but uh, really seems to be okay. I'm serious. You could probably put Daiwa or Shakespeare or whatever you want on it. I don't think anybody would know the difference. All right, got one on the worm. Come on and jump. Nice little bass. Look how white this one is, how white the belly and everything is. Let me set this down so I can... Oh, not in the water yet. Good look at him. Good looking fish. Yep, he hit on that pretty quick. I think I, I think I might have twitched it twice, and he hit. But we just found out something very important. They like worms. They like worms too. So anyway, that uh, pole and reel both did fine. Uh, when you're talking about. Oh, $16 for the reel and 20 for the rod. I mean, out here doing this, pan fishing, crappie fishing. I don't think anybody would have any problem whatsoever. All right, we've switched back over to the PC fin and we've wormed her up, doing the old wacky thing. Oh, hey, if you pull this bale back, it'll let that line go out a lot quicker. Yeah, I think 
I thought, I think he let it go. God. There we go. You're not getting off this time, daggone it. Oh, another jumper. Try to get my boys to fish on, but nobody's listening. They're mad at me, I guess. I don't know. Dad's catching fish. Now that, huh, looks like it's barely in him. And it was barely in him, but. Good fish. Piece of fin viper, doing it to it. Something tapped it. But he didn't stick with it. Or did he? He did. He stayed with it. He stayed with it. Nice fish. Another good fish. Come here. Well, that's how it is over here in the old testing facility, Evan. Sometimes you just got to move to a different spot. PC fin, Viper 2 with the Tango, the old Field and Stream Company, catching fish. See you, fish. Should I try again, or is that enough? What do y'all think? Lucas says try one more. So if Lucas says try one more, who am I to say no? What kind of father would I be if I said, no, son, I'm not going to try one more. I give up. I quit, son. I'm done. What kind of father would I be? Oh, oh, I got a tap. There it is again. There's just no way, boys, I can tell you how much fun this is. He took my flame. You know what that means? We're done. As Evan sits back there calmly awaiting his father to say, Dad, I've had enough. Can we please go home? For the love of all that loves fish, can we please go home? Yes, we can. And there you go. That is the last little guy of the day. Thank you, little guy. The old piece of fin Viper X. Oh. All right, little feller. Away! He tried to get me wet. You see that? So it was such a beautiful day outside today that we decided to do our outro from the back of the old truck here, old booger. Uh, first off, let's go with the uh, Ozark Trail, okay? That is the Ozark Trail spinning reel. It's the only one that I've seen in Walmart, so I don't think you'd have a hard time missing it. It's 16 bucks is what it comes out to. SP5B1I. I don't know, sounds like some kind of robot from Star Wars, but um, it really worked well. Did really well. Uh, worm fished with it. We uh, used some small jigs and some grubs and things like that with it, and it did great. It, I mean, it's $16. It's a five bearing setup. The rod is a Power Plus graphite rod from Bass Pro Shops. It was 20 bucks. You know, you're on the water fishing. Another $6 for some line, and you're on the water fishing. It's a good reel. Now, if you used it every day, longevity-wise, you know, this could be the uh, Mitchell 308 of the 2000s. I don't know. It, you might have to buy another one right next year. But if you don't fish a lot, maybe you might not wear it out. Then again, you may not wear it out at all. It's a good little reel for the money. Maybe for something to throw behind the seat of the truck. Uh, just to keep around with you whenever you want to go somewhere. Hey, you know, get you one of those little telescopic rods like Lucas uses and Evan used to use. But, uh, you know, it'd be a good little, I think it'd be a good little setup. I, I don't have a problem using that at all. I'd go, I'd go fish with that without even thinking twice. Now, PC Fin Viper, 2000 size, it's the Viper 2. I like it, uh, but I, I 
every piece of fin reel that I've had, I've liked. So I haven't had a problem with any of them. But anyway, get a good look at that guy. Viper 2. Um, again, their bearing set up extremely smooth. Cast really long distance. This is 8 pound trialing. It's what I tend to use quite a bit because uh, it tends to throw the smaller things just as good as the big things and holds on really well. Uh, field and stream rod. Tango. Okay. Got some of that fancy digital desert camo going on there. It did great. Now for the uh, people who want to know, six foot six, six to pound, uh, six to twelve pound line, and it's a medium fast action. It did great on the last few fish you saw caught. Now you've seen that I was not catching four pound monsters with this thing, but it's a it's a good ultra light to medium setup. I like it. I like it a lot. I can see me using this quite a bit, quite a bit. So anyway. My take on both of those are they're, they're good reels, good rods too. I wouldn't have any problem using either one of them. So anyway, thanks for watching with us and enjoying the day. And it is pretty out here. I almost don't want to stop. But he wants me to stop. And he, I don't know what he wants. He's already in the truck. So who knows? Maybe he just wants some pizza or something. So anyway, we're going to head on back to the house. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy what you're seeing, there's a lot more to come and a lot more different things to come too. Not just reviews. We've got some crazy trips in mind. We're going to have some fun. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.